First of all, how are you doing? Obviously, this is a big change for you. Uh, just talk us through where your mental state is currently versus how you felt in the past. I would say for me, just refreshed. It's been uh, changing teams is, is really cool as just learning new people and also learning a new bike. I think for me as a rider, I've been on the same bike for a while and I feel like you can try so many things, but you kind of, at some point, not lose confidence. You kind of just, not and almost just lose hope a little bit on this certain things. And obviously I was successful in the Honda and I, I really liked those guys over there. I had a good relationship with them. And uh, I just feel like it was time for a change for me. And overall, I've been really happy. The guys over here are awesome to work with. And uh, yeah, we're happy so far. You can, um, you can be honest about this. Obviously you committed to KTM fairly early on. Mm -hmm. Was there a point between committing and actually arriving on the team where you started to doubt your move? Was there a day where maybe you were just a bit like, I hope I've done the right thing, I don't know? I mean, there's always that uncertainty. Like, even now, like, you never know. Like, going to the race, you're still on a different bike. You haven't really, it's like uncharted waters for me. And for me, I've been really happy with it in practice, but going racing is different. So, um, I guess we'll see at Anaheim. But overall, I'm, I'm really happy and confident with my change because no matter what bike it is, it's really the group of people you're working with and I'm really comfortable and happy with the guys that I have here and um, we have a good team and we'll, uh, we'll do good, we'll be good this year, I promise. You, um, you keep talking about a group of people. Yeah. So what is it that's refreshing about them? Is it, the, is it the way that they talk to you, the way that they deal with you? Yeah, it's just the relationship that we have. I feel really close to these guys. Like I feel like it's one kind of big family and obviously our goal is to go win and it's, it's business, but there's also a sense of like a good relationship and kind of like almost a friendship between a lot of us and it's it's been cool I, all the teammates all my teammates tom juju aaron they're all really rad and it's been uh like i said just a breath of fresh air and for me that's something i needed it's not like i'm i'm not very old i'm pretty young still and i feel like i was uh just getting maybe a little bit grumpy at the end of my uh, time at honda and it's I feel like i'm a little bit uh, younger now being here do you feel like because the relationship with the KTM guys is so friendly that you can be more honest with them when discussing the bike and also they can be more honest with you. Yeah. Like there's almost no boundaries, which maybe makes it tough sometimes, but also gets you to results quicker. Yeah, I think it's you, like kind of said it perfectly. I can kind of be real with these guys. I think part of my time at Honda I was just one me being and kind of being an ass and like that just not working with a corporate company. Like these guys are obviously factory team and corporate, but they also are pretty real when it comes down about talking about business and the bike and um, can be really honest with them and they can be honest with me. I mean, sometimes we might not like it, but it's uh, the best way and I feel like the, the fastest way to go about things. I think one of the things that's gonna make you so strong next year, obviously you're the defending champion, that's fact, yeah. but I feel like stood here, you still feel like you've got something to prove. Yeah. Whether you do or not remains to be seen, but I think deep inside you, you feel like you need to come out and almost remind people why you won that championship. Yeah. Is that kind of where you're at? Yeah, and I think no matter how many how many championships I, I win or lose, it doesn't really matter how motivated I am. I think even after Salt Lake, like you're never satisfied with winning one championship. It's always you want more and more and more and more. At least that's how I am. I think a lot of past champions and even current ones are the same. They, uh, one's never enough. So for me, I've, I still have a lot to prove. I have a lot of things that I can work on from last season and that's what kind of keeps me motivated and driven. And I think that's also good for me coming into this year, not being uh, complacent and ready to move forward. What does it actually feel like being stood here as a champion? Because the American scene is weird. Like Prado is here somewhere. He's champion of MXGP and yeah. he will be for 12 months. Yeah. Whereas here, you were champion and then two weeks later, starting fresh with a new series. So yeah. like, you don't get to, I don't know, wear the tag for as long as you really should. Yeah, no, it's like uh, pretty much two weeks after I won Supercross, I was no longer the, the champ. I was ready to go race outdoors. And it's, uh, it can be good and bad. Like you obviously want to kind of soak in and cherish the moment, but it's also like, I went straight back to work and get ready for outdoors. So it's, you don't really kind of soak it in. I mean, I feel like in the off season, you kind of like take back and look what you did in the season and kind of analyze and think about stuff that you did good and stuff you can get better at. And that's kind of how I've been this off season, just focusing on stuff I can get better at. And obviously very grateful for what I've accomplished so far and plan on making more of that uh, in the future. 
And uh, last thing, last boring question. Um, Bike-wise, one thing about the bike that you immediately liked and one thing that took a little bit of time to get used to and you had to work on a little bit. I think the stiffness of the bike is good and bad. I think not good and bad, but it's something that I, I really like, but also we've also worked on quite a bit. Like the feeling of it had uh, some spots we could work on, which we've gotten those a lot better. And also like the stiffness when I really load the bike, because I ride the bike, I load it a lot. Even on the Honda, I loaded it a lot. And with this one, when I load it, it, it reacts very well and it actually likes that feeling. So I've uh, kind of gotten to learn that. And um, yeah, we're making a lot of progress. We've changed a lot um, from the first bike I started on. So it's, uh, it's cool. They have a lot of stuff that I can test, which is nice. Like it's, it can be a good and a bad thing, but also it's, it's good when you uh, are trying to find something, you can always go back to something else or try something new. You're going to Florida this week. So I guess that means you feel like you are pretty set as far as testing goes and all of that stuff. Otherwise, if you were panicking, I presume you'd be staying in California all of the way until Anaheim one. Yeah, I mean, I think we're gonna test a couple of days in Florida, but I think so far we just been like nothing major in the last couple of weeks. We've been kind of just working on suspension and there's always stuff that we can work on. There's, I mean, honestly, I'm pretty close to being ready to go racing. I feel like as far as bike wise, I still think me as a rider, I gotta get better. I think I've done moto so far, but not enough to be, uh, to be ready. So when I go back to Florida, it's gonna be nice being able to go to the track and not have to like deal with traffic and drive to the gym, drive to go bike ride. I can focus on doing motos and kind of honing in on what I need to do better and not so much the bike.